Several years ago, my grandmother had an accident and fell in her living room. She broke bones during the fall and was unable to move. The next day, my mother found her and called an ambulance. If she had received treatment sooner, her injuries would have been much less severe. Accidents similar to what happened to my grandmother are far from uncommon. There are about 40 million elderly adults in the United States, and this number is projected to double by 2050. According to the CDC, one out of three people in this age group falls each year. These falls are the leading cause of injury and death among elderly people. The goal of our project is to automatically detect fall accidents. There are a variety of existing products used to solve this problem. However, they all have drawbacks. In order for accelerometers to work, a person must remember to wear it. Solutions that use help buttons require the person to be conscious and is physically able to press the button. Video cameras usually require monitoring by a person. In the case of video systems that automatically detect faults, we can achieve better accuracy by using the addition of the depth data from the Kinect. Pressure sensors are usually mounted on beds or chairs and can be used to detect faults. These sensors have many false positive reports. Our solution to this problem involves three parts. First, we use the Kinect sensor to detect whether or not a fall has occurred. Second, after the fall is detected, we use voice recognition to determine if the faller requires assistance. Third, the application provides an appropriate response. The Kinect SDK automatically detects the position of 20 joints for up to two people. It also recognizes the location of the flow plan. We use this information to determine whether a fall has occurred. We use a voice recognition system to eliminate false positive reports. If a fall is detected, our application asks the user if they need help. If the user says no, the report is canceled. If the user says yes, or does not give a response, the fall is reported. Now we will show a demonstration of these three cases. Our application is shown in a small window. We use a border to show the state of the system. White for no fall, yellow for validation, and red for fall reported. The Kinect has detected the fall. Do you need assistance? Yes. Reporting fall. The Kinect has detected the fall. Do you need assistance? No. Canceling fall report. Ready? Start. The Kinect has detected the fall. Do you need assistance? No response given, assuming fall occurred. As you saw in the previous video, our system uses text messages to report falls. The application can easily be modified to implement different reporting systems. We plan on changing the reporting system according to the requirements of the hospital with which we are working. We presented our fall detection system to a group of administrators at Henry Ford Hospital. They are interested in using our system. Dr. Schatz has suggested we meet with the fall committee and the balance clinic to begin testing our solution. The following video shows the administrators experimenting with our fall detection system. <laughs> Our fall detection system has a relatively low cost. The Kinect sensor currently costs about $150. Additionally, the application can be run on an existing computer with Windows 7. Healthcare administrators and the children of elderly adults would likely make the decision to buy our product. We hope that by using this system, we can reduce the damage caused by accidents like the one which happened to my grandmother. Thank you for watching.